the Pope of the Holy See. Decked with purple and scarlet, the vilest harlot, yet seen glorified as a starlet. The most malign wine on the market, yet all drink of her goblet. All the kings of every nation commit fornication as they mock creation, the Illuminati and the Freemasons. God loves, so he rebukes and chastens, but they won't listen, they want domination. And they'll do anything to get it, Jesuit infiltration, false education. Sunday worship, the abomination of desolation and spiritual formation in every single denomination. Sadly, the true God is forsaken. They think they can outsmart God, but they've been mistaken. Anything but Christian is this papal system. They operate with pride and hate, plan to take down the bride with church and state. The word, just like before, they'll confiscate. If they could, they would obliterate. Only so much will God tolerate. City on seven hills is prime real estate until you know how it will disintegrate. They try to hide their history, keep it a mystery. History, but it's foreseen in prophecy, every lie and every apostasy, a misconception of divinity with the deception of the trinity. Tall cathedrals, no matter how high, can't hide the lies and evils. A pointy steeple, as sharp and lethal as the papal people. Beautiful stained glass won't cover up their stained past. The Catholic Church should be illegal. It's the same church today, not just medieval. Same beliefs, still deceitful. It may not look like it now, but there will be a sequel. We're on the precipice, waited ages for the second dark ages since Genesis. Hold on to Holy Scripture. God's wrath is to be poured out without mixture. The king of the north shall come forth, but this man of sin will not win. Let him understand, it's the number of a man. 666 as the word predicts. Got his hand in politics and other tricks. None other than the antichrist behind a crucifix. Don't drink the wine, stay sober. The protest is certainly not over. He seeks to change times and laws, yet receives applause. God's hand withdraws, then the wound is healed. God's people are kneeled before the king, now they're made sealed. The Sunday law, a papal declaration, will be given to every population. Satan gives them power, says revelation, but not enough to stop a second reformation. Soon will come the mark of the beast. May we all be ready for the wedding feast. From the west to the east, we shall see Jesus coming in glory and peace, our great high priest. When he comes, we will keep the Sabbaths together, sanctified by the great intercessor. The seventh day Sabbath is for forever. No longer will the world be controlled by a false system. Let him who understands have God's wisdom continue in faith and be a true Christian. <laughs>